because you have loved one to another. That's enough. Amen. Don't need any other deals. Back room deals, front room deals, any deals. Uh, fair deals, unfair deals, whatever. Uh, we just need the family of God to come together. And these brethren, I was in their work in Mercy Seat Ministries a few weeks ago in Kingsport, Tennessee, and they are here just getting more acquainted with us, loving us, being a part of us, and we'll load our church bus up one day and take a group up that way and see them, be with them, and uh, ministry and be with them. And of course, Brother Harris, Sister Harris and Shirley uh, from Blair, the work in Blair, Blair Gospel Tabernacle, extension of the work of God in uh, that northeast Mississippi, um, and uh, you brethren get acquainted with Brother Harris, who's not that far from you, and uh, has the work there. And it's doing well, it's grounded, settled, and Brother Harris is an able builder, able man of God, able worker in the vineyard. I know because he worked with me here for many years, and um, I know his work, and I know what he can do being used of God. And so we're glad to see uh, him and uh, Margie and Shirley with us. And I want, I want you, you haven't said anything, I want you to take your liberty, Brother Harris, and let the Lord use you as a mighty vessel of God. And it's good to see Gail. Did you get a good report in your, um, Gail Tremble here, Sister Billy Harris, <coughs> Sister, uh, did you get a good report on uh, the um, test this week? Have you gotten it? Not yet, but they told me if they had to put a stent in, I'd have to go across the hall. And if I had to have open heart surgery, they would admit me. So I didn't do either one of those. So I take that. Well, you're going to have to do it. Yeah. <laughs> All good news. All right. Good news. It's good to see you. And uh, happy to have you. Then looking in the back of the church, it's good to see Sister Brother Wallace's mother and sister, Sister Nina. Uh, or Matt and Sister Julie Brewer, back here from the Seabring Assembly. Uh, Assembly. And Brother Zonville's labor over there, and we're glad to see you in service. And then on my right, my goodness, <laughs> this distinguished brother of mine, this, uh, he's been my son uh, since we went up to the state of Georgia. Uh, I don't know how many years ago, 30 years ago, 30 approaching over now 30 years ago, and brought him down here, moved him, and uh, he and his family, and he saw the truth, got the truth in his heart, and he loves the Lord, he loves God's family, has a beautiful family. Uh, I tell you, a church grows overnight when God adds Brother Rosellas to the labor. Now uh, look at those beautiful children. That's his, those two rows, and his wife, Sister Deanna, right beside him. Then look at those lovely girls and lovely young men, handsome young men. And we welcome Brother Adolph Bertellis and his family back to Bladen. And out here visiting, and out here visiting, brought his tools with him, he brought his uh, family, brought all of his uh, belongings, and he has returned to Bradenton, and I say welcome. We're glad you're here. Praise the name of the Lord. Which we're glad you're here. Get out in labor, and I told you not to let church mechanics and church issues and church problems. And, you know, you can backslide and lose out with God focusing on the church rather than Christ. But you know, you can focus on the church until you'll get so much uh, full of the church until you'll forget about where Jesus is right. and what he's doing in your life. And uh, focus on Christ. He'll take care of the focusing on the church. If you put him the head and make him the center and make him the one you think about, dream about, hope about, and love in your life, then you won't get stuck in any what we call churchism, ritualism, dogmatism, and a lot of other words I could use, a lot of isms. But you'll get grounded in Jesus Christ. And you'll love him. And he'll love you. And so we're just glad to see you. Everybody, my final act here is going to be, as I said, let's pray for these people. 
And before we, and then I want you all, on Sundays I've started doing this. I don't do this every service. But, you know, we give our offerings. We start coming and giving throughout the meeting. And uh, here in our offering box, we cease the basket. baskets in the church here. Um, and if you're not able to give, uh, get someone's attention, and they'll come up for you and put your offering. We built this offering box about 20 years ago. And the church sustained itself on it for 13 years, and we quit using it and went to the pans and the baskets and what have you. And the Lord said, um, I didn't let you tear that up, threw it away, put it back in use and use it. It's my offering table, and I'll sustain the church. And he's been doing that. So if you have your tithing or offering, whatever God's given you, missionary offering, any special offering, Lord's giving him, I want you all to get up and come down and there's 80 feet across here and I want you to get as close as you can to one another and I want you to, uh, let's pray first over the day and thank God for it, thank God for our brethren, thank God for the body of the Lord Jesus Christ, pray for the other assemblies, pray for the churches, the ministers, uh, and pray for our sick, our afflicted, how long will that take me, Brother Marlowe? Well, God has Federal Express. Uh, so, you know, and if that doesn't satisfy, he has UPS. Uh, so you, uh, you can come and speak to him however you will, however God leads you. I don't pray out, pray inwardly. I don't get loud, stay quiet. Uh, I get loud, praise God, get loud. However you pray, whatever you say, God is the recipient. I'm not. So you just get up and come right now, everybody that can, from the back of the house all the way down, and we're going to gather here, and we're going to and say hello to your neighbor on the way. We do this once a week, our Sunday afternoon services, and uh, you can then give your offering in a moment uh, as we pray over it. Praise the name of the Lord. Come right on down right now. And then we'll just move right into the rest of the day. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Get as close as you can and make room for others coming. And uh, we're just going to pray and believe God. Amen. Tell your neighbor that you love them as you come down. Because you know that's, that's something you can't oversell, overbuy. Is the love of God. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. All right, come right on down and let the aisles be open over here where they can get down. Come right on down a little closer and uh, we're going to pray and believe God. And thank you for this day. How many have something to be thankful for? I said, how many have something to be thankful for? How many want to worship today? How many want to worship today? I said, just worship. Let's just worship. Let's give him a praise offering right now. Hallelujah.